Hey everyone, it has been a little while since my last review, but that was for a very good reason. Just in the last couple of days, I flew down to Sydney to check out, for the very first time in my life, the Sydney Film Festival to see three movies. I'm going to have a separate video for each of them, and we are starting with the very first movie that I saw at the fest, Cottontail. So, let's get into it. As this was my first time going to the film festival, I do want to talk about my experience a little bit with you guys because it was very exciting and I really want to give you guys a lot of tips and advice for if you are interested in attending the film festival and seeing what it is like. I do have a timestamp for the review, so if you want to skip ahead, please do so. In Australia, I have only been to two separate film festivals, the Gold Coast Film Festival and the Brisbane International Film Festival. And Brisbane was the biggest one that I would always go to. It was kind of like my Christmas and you just see so many different movies at once, so many films that actually really interest me. If you know, if you're from Australia, we have pretty terrible distribution for films. We're usually the last to the party to get a lot of indie films, a lot of stuff from A24, Neon, all of those movies take ages to get to us. So it's always a great opportunity at the film festival to finally catch up and see some of these movies for the very first time. And going to Sydney, it really felt like what you hear about when you hear about big film festivals across the globe. You know, Brisbane is definitely a really solid film festival with an impressive lineup of movies each and every year, but it is very much like just going to the movies on a regular day, except you're seeing a cool premiere, an interesting indie movie, something different. Sydney felt more like an event. It had this electricity, this buzz to it, and I just was so excited just being in the city and really getting involved in this atmosphere. It really is so exciting. The buzz, it's just so infectious. It makes you so excited. And the theaters themselves were absolutely incredible. I saw this at the Hayden Orpheum Theater, which had this real kind of classy and retro vibe. Everyone was wearing uniforms like it was a movie theater in the 80s. And the actual cinema itself was so grand, really, really cool. And it was just a great location to watch this movie. If you're going to go to the Sydney Film Festival and you do want to see multiple movies, I do recommend getting a ticket pack because they're just so much cheaper. They do come in pretty pricey and they do add up. So just be aware of that and definitely have some travel arrangements planned because some of these theaters are pretty far apart. It's kind of similar to Brisbane. So if you've been to some film festivals before, you kind of understand that. But if this is going to be your first film festival, definitely think beforehand and just plan ahead a little bit. Because if, especially if you're seeing multiple movies in a one day, you're going to different locations and it can be a little bit overwhelming at first. Now, let's actually talk about Cottontail. I had zero expectations for this movie. I was primarily going to Sydney for one particular film, which I will review in the next couple of days. This one was really just to fill out my schedule. You know, we're flying down to Sydney. We may as well see as many movies as we can in the two or so days that we were there. And, you know, there wasn't much to choose from. It takes a lot of skill to pick out the real hidden gems in a film festival. There's always the big headliner acts. There's the megalopolises. There's the kinds of kindness there's I Saw the TV Glow, all of these different movies that have some kind of big reaction already. So you kind of know that those are the films that are drawing a lot of buzz. It takes a lot of skill and effort to try and find something that no one has talked about before. And you're just going in blind and manage to pick out something really special and different that you can recommend to so many people. Cottontail is that kind of movie. I'm so pleased to say that. I wish I could take the credit for picking this movie out, but I have to give all my credit to my fiance, Tanisha, for picking it out. She just had an eye for this one. She read the synopsis and it seemed pretty interesting to her. And I was a lot more skeptical than she was. I thought this movie was going to be a snooze fest going into it. For some reason, I just thought it was gonna be very slow paced and boring and just something to fill out the schedule. I kind of went almost reluctantly to this movie. And I was so wrong. I have big egg on my face on that one because Cottontail is a fantastic movie that I highly recommend you check out. This movie is a real emotional tale 
where a man who has gone through a real tragic loss in his life is trying to move on. In terms of a story structure, this is going to sound really out of left field for the type of movie that this is, but this is very God of War 2018 coded. If you know, you know if you've seen this movie. It does have a somewhat similar structure and kind of similar events where there's this friction between a father and son and them trying to get over a loss and this film just does an incredible job of that. Yes, its concept is a little bit more on the generic side and it is one of the things that holds it back a little bit but the way that it executes is just magnificent from the very beginning of this film. This utilizes really incredible editing and cinematography in the very first few frames to really put you into the shoes of our protagonist played by Lily Frankie, who does an incredible job in this movie. He really bodies the role here. Every look in his face means something. Every word of dialogue has a meaning to it. Little moments can make you burst into tears because there's just so much weight behind what is being said, so much meaning behind what is being said that a simple thank you can put a frog in your throat because of how well this film is written and how well performed it is that it really builds up certain small moments like that. The movie is really excellent that I think it does deserve a solid Oscar campaign if it is eligible this year because there are just certain elements in this that really excel. As I said, the editing and cinematography is so purposeful. It's not flashy by any means, but it knows exactly what it's doing and it commits to it. It doesn't stray the course at all. It is so focused and razor sharp in what it's trying to achieve. And the performances are so on board with what is being written that it just hits you like a ton of bricks, this movie. The ending is particularly tear-jerking. I was a mess by the end of this movie because a certain motif popped up that just hit me so hard. The movie is incredible at doing that. And the fact that it doesn't overstay its welcome, it gets to the point. It is just, as I said, so razor focused and focuses on such particular moments. It does not waste a single frame. It does not waste a single second in this film. And I just highly, highly recommend you check it out. I just don't want to give away too much. I do think because of the film's simplicity, if I start talking about particular details, I feel like I'm ruined certain moments for you. I went into this movie really blind. I don't even think I saw a trailer for it. I kind of half read the synopsis. You know, if you go in blind like I did, I think it'll hit you the exact same way and really... All I can say is go check this movie out whenever it releases. I know it's not getting talked about really at all at the moment because it is very small. It's not flashy, but this works so much. And I do think that when more and more people start to see it, they'll know what I'm talking about and really get behind this movie because it's just hard not to be emotionally moved by what is being shown on screen here. As I said, really the only issue is that the structure of the film and some of the big moments can feel a little bit derivative, but that's really about it. If you can get over that, this film is just incredible. As a score, I'm going to give Cottontail a strong four and a half out of five. It was just such an impressive start for me at the Sydney Film Festival. What a great start to the day and seeing three incredibly different types of movies and this one, I'm just so glad I saw it and I have nothing but praise for Tanisha for a being able to just pick this out of the blue and being like, let's see this one. She has a great eye, sometimes way better than me, but it just all credit there. The movie is excellent. And those are my thoughts towards Cottontail. If you've seen the movie, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And please tell me if it's on your radar now, if you haven't seen it. I really hope I have put it on your radar. I really just want to introduce you guys to some really great movies and give you some hidden gems to check out. And I just do think with all my heart that this is one to watch that you will just be really impressed by. Anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Be sure to check out a lot of my upcoming videos about the festival. I have one big review, the one that I came down here for, and I have talked about it 
in posts and things like that. I saw Kinds of Kindness, the Australian premiere. That review will be coming out in a couple of days. I have a lot of thoughts towards that one, so I'm still processing a lot of things. But anyway, make sure to check that out in the future. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.